Yo, this MC, Middle Child, Forever Summer Music, we out here. Um, we a collective as a unit, but me more so, I'm a lyricist, I would say. Um, I wouldn't say conscious, I just more speak what I feel at all times, whatever that may be. So, so I might say something like, um, can you tell me how I'm not cool? I went to a couple high schools with the kids who didn't fuck with me asking if I'm on iTunes and I'm not one of those hype dudes. But even if I was, I never saw the point in pretending to be a thug. Compare a lady to a bug, blow her off because I don't give a fuck. She wouldn't let me hit for that scrub, nigga. She'll give it up. Hope that you remember us rapping in those hallways. Pack this makes you perfect and my niggas came a long way. But that's just something like, uh, I got a lot of them. I just, I just write as much as I can. Um, I try to be around people who inspire me as far as like hip hop and music go, push me further. Um, I, in a, in a way, I wouldn't say gangster rap baby do it. I, 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 I love hip hop culture. Um, goes back to, for me, rock him. Um, uh, Africa Bimbada. I'm not gonna lie, like I know all they shit, but it definitely had an impact because I know how much they did for the culture in general. The start. We was just talking about like you you gotta give um credit to the people who laid down the foundation, you know. A lot of rappers aren't doing that. And and that's what I'm all about. Um paying mad respects to the Nas, the Jay Z's, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, all of them. But um even the new cast that's out, so dope. Childish Gambino doing his shit, um, Joey Badass. But I just try to take things not like so much take, but learn and acquire new styles and different things and, and put it into my own. So, yeah. Um, where I got the name Middle Child, uh, well, Middle Child abbreviated as MC. That was just a coincidence. I didn't know that. But um, Middle Child is um, sort of in connection with like, the, I think it's called the middle child, not syndrome, but like something where it's like those kids are overlooked in a lot of ways, or it's like, you know, they don't feel like they get the attention they deserve, the middle child. And so um, I kind of just took that because I am actually the middle child of, um, it's my older sister, um, my older brother, me, my little sister, and then the baby, um, it's a lot of us. Uh, for the most part, we got different moms. <laughs> Daddy was a rolling stove, but, uh, but he always was there. Um, he actually, um, I guess, started my passion for music in a way. Um, he used to work with Spoil Rotten back in the days, like um, changing faces, touch me, tease me, all that. And, um, yeah, my mom was a dancer, so she used to dance for like, I wish I could name all of them. I feel like 112 was one of them, but different groups. And so just growing up around that as a kid or just hearing that from the womb, I feel like I got something from it, you know? Uh, I did college, it wasn't for me. I wasn't going for what I wanted. I, I wouldn't say I didn't, I don't like school. I don't like the way that school is set up because it, it's, different for different people. And for me, I just learn differently, I would say. Um, I definitely take more of an interest when it's something that I'm interested in. So if we're not talking about the Pythagorean theorem, but instead we're talking about, you know, civil rights history, black history. I love black history, Malcolm X. Um, I don't, I don't know too much about like, all those other people. I just started reading Malcolm X. That's why I brought him up. But um, yeah, I'm also 21. That has value, importance. Kind of puts you where I'm at. I was born in 97. So I would say like that's the transition of a lot of things. 96, 97. It's like technology was changing. Um, music was starting to change too, for better or for worse, but it all was. And like I said, I got a little bit of all of that, um, whatever that may be. Um, I'm from New York. I was born in Harlem, but um, I, I rep Queens because that's where I stayed the longest or that's where I feel like had more of an impact on me. But um, 
I've moved around a lot. Uh, Delaware, a little bit, uh, New Jersey, um, Atlanta now. Uh, my parents always just wanted the best, so I was always just moving to wherever they felt like that was. It was always like a step up. But, um, yeah, I love it. I love meeting new people. Um, that's how I met Forever Summer Music. An open mic I just went to at Morehouse, uh, my old school. I went there for like a year. But still, like I said, it, it was more so for me if I didn't um, go the full length, it was more so an experience. A lot of people don't get that. Like, just the black culture in general, being around that and like the different frats or, you know, just a lot that people don't get to see. But um, homecoming, it's crazy. But uh, what is it? <laughs> I, I, I had a test of, yeah. Um, what else about me? I mean, I could go on more so. Um, uh, right now, I don't have a lot of music out. Um, I'm at a spot where I'm trying to find where home is for my music so I can have somewhere to go to to record consistently. Um, everything that I've done is just me. I have my mom's Mac, a pair of broken Beats headphones, and I make do with what I got. It doesn't always sound right, but I feel like People should still hear it. They should still hear me, whatever that is. Um, I do take advantage of social media, MC underscore middle child. Um, I take videos. If if I can't record, then I'm recording myself rapping. Like, I got to get out there somehow. Somebody's got to hear me. Somebody got to hear it. So I just be rapping to the masses, whoever, whoever it touch, you know? Um, yeah. I, I wish I had more music out. I'm trying to do that. Uh, Forever Summer EP coming soon. Um, yeah, we're just all talented group of individuals. Um, hope for more to come, man. I don't know what's gonna come, but but for me right now, I just feel like um, I don't get this with a lot of like. A lot of people are talk. I'm not throwing shade, but a lot of people are talk. They don't want to invest in themselves or invest in their music or really go the distance as far as like what they gotta do. So it's a different feel with where I'm at. It's like we're actually going places, trying to get recognized, putting the work in. Been up. One day we didn't eat. Like we just didn't eat. <laughs> we had a performance the next day. We were practicing so much that we we was like, did we eat today? Like that doesn't happen with everybody. So people, uh, let's let's sleep. L let's smoke. I mean, it's easy. I'm not gonna say I don't like to sleep and smoke. I mean, like I do, but like that's got to be on the back burner sometimes. You feel me? Like you gotta keep pushing, keep grinding, whatever that is. Um, if we do smoke, we smoke as a reward. Like, all right, we stayed up till fucking six in the morning. Let's, or not even six in the morning, I'm stretching, I'm stretching. But like, we stayed up all night, let's roll up. Let's relax for a second, get our minds in a different spot. Sometimes you be thinking so, um, you be so caught up in how you want to hear yourself. But you just be stuck, so, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much time do we have left? Um, that, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. Um, until they come in, I mean, I could just talk. Uh, you could even ask me stuff. I mean, not only hip hop, music, hip hop culture, I also like movies, black films in general. I grew up on. Um, I forgot who mentioned. Was it? Oh no, that's not you. Uh, somebody mentioned the Last Dragon. I would think that's how I started. Like. Love like old school movies, Last Dragon, um, Boys in the Hood, Juice. I could go on a list, but I be knowing these like word for word. Growing up, we didn't have cable, so my mom just like had a bunch of DVDs, and we just just watch those all day. I just know, I just can quote. You better check yourself, Q. <laughs>
you gotta do what you gotta do to take them niggas out whenever you feel like it. Tupac, that shit is crazy. You ever think about doing any acting? Um, I'm considering it now as far as like, um, I was just talking uh, to them about uh, like extras. I know they have a lot of extra scenes and stuff out here in Atlanta. But even for that, you gotta like take classes and stuff like that, I heard. So, I mean, I would be into it. Sometimes it's not the thing that you think is gonna put you on that puts you on, you feel me? Like, um, I wanna be a rapper really bad, but say I go to an audition or something and somebody else is there and they know somebody and they seen the work that I do, you feel me? Then I get put on through that. And I was at an acting audition, you feel me? Like anything can happen, so I'm always open to doing different things. Um, I want to do more with my music. Um, I, I do write and stuff like that, but like I want to learn to produce my own music. I want to learn like different um, vocab. Like they be throwing out words because they do. They're like, yeah, the, p the pitch and the key, and you got to get the melody with the like. And I'm like, I don't know what any of that is. I just like the way it sounds. So like, definitely trying to get familiar with that. And um, the hustle. Yeah, we're hustlers. We do whatever we gotta do. Um, we had a show. Um, so hey, then we have a show and we was like standing around the malls. We was going to malls. We was yeah. going to parks, trying to uh, get our name out. We'll perform for anybody. We'll do any song. You feel me? Spit. Just so you can, you know, experience. experience. Yeah. If we, if we feel like we have something amazing, we wouldn't lie to you. We gonna show you you know what we hear, and hopefully you like it too. Um, but yeah, just a dope group. So where they can find you at? Um, yeah, like I said, you can find me at MC underscore Middle Child. That's on Instagram, and you can find all of us at Forever Summer Music, just like that. No Big E or Three or Nine, just Forever Summer Music. Um, and heavy on Instagram right now. But that's the other thing. Before I go, I gotta get into like different forms of social media, whether that be YouTube or, I don't know, I don't like Twitter like that. Twitter, damn it. Um, I, I'm gonna start to do it, that's what I mean though. Like, just gotta, who do, you, who do you go, like say you don't like social media like that, I don't even really like being on my Instagram like that. We were just talking about it. I'm more so live in the moment type of person. I don't feel like all my experiences need to be shared with everybody. You know, everybody's not posting their bad moments and their good moments. They just post the good all the time. And it's like, that's not what life is. So, I mean, I don't know. I just don't feel like keeping people updated 24 seven. So I guess my question is, do you pay somebody for that? Like, can you record this moment that I'm having? Can you take a picture of this? Cause like, you could also miss out on a lot, but like, I don't know. So it's up to, like again, you investing in yourself, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, but let's uh, give me a little bit more about, uh, let's say, uh, what like, like what inspired you to, to, to do music. To actually rap. Um, for me, it goes back into me. Like, I think that's what's so funny about Middle Child is the fact that I felt I was overlooked in a lot of situations. Like, um, basketball. I love basketball, but I was never, my shot wasn't there. Uh, football, I wasn't catching it, so they had me on the sideline. Um, karate, kept falling and shit. Like, I did different things. I, I did a lot. But, um, yeah, nothing ever really was like, I feel getting me the attention I deserved. I was still overlooked. And then I found myself writing because i know i used to do poetry when i was younger just like you know third grade fourth grade just some like little poems and shit but i started working on it and rapping and it would start from you feel me ciphers and classrooms and then it would go to you know me in the auditorium at like a talent show or something like that and the feedback that i was getting was always positive like it was always love like I know a lot of rappers be like, um, yeah, all those teachers who overlook, you know, you, you, you don't know, you don't know here, I'm, I'm here now and shit. And like, I'm not trying to flex, but it would be teachers that would be like, 
um, all right, we're just gonna watch John spit. Or they wouldn't say it like that, but they would just let me rap. They would just let me flow, and that would be class. They would just let me rap, because they believed in me. Like, if, if you know, your peers and people are sur who surround you can see it, then you should be able to see that too, you know? So that's when I started taking it serious. I would say about, that was like uh, 10, ninth, 10th grade, because I was still, you know, fucking around ciphers and shit, or just hopping in. But once started getting serious, that that was it. I just, I'm not gonna lie, you like the attention, like you feel me, like you like to like, oh, I like I like the reactions. I think that's what it is for me as far as like writing. Um, Lois and Ghetto, not saying I'm the best, but like if I could throw some in there that make people say, oh shit, like that means the world world to me because not everybody catches your lyrics or your wordplay or what you're trying to do. You feel me? So, um, yeah, I always try to stay on top of that. Um, what still motivate me is uh, you gonna meet them. These two, I know you already heard them sing, you gotta hear them rap. Bro, when I see stuff like that, it's just like, like I said, it motivated me, pushed me harder. Like, um, cause I know it's other people like that or like us that wanna eat too. So, you know, that just inspires me to go even harder with my craft. That's all it is.